One of my favorite stories is about a man. Now this man is walking down a path and finds an egg, an eagle's egg. He takes this egg and puts it into the nest of a backyard hen. Pretty soon the eagle hatches with the chicks and grows up with them. Now all his life that eagle did what the chickens did. He would poke around in the dirt looking for worms and insects to eat. He would fly a few feet into the air like chickens do. And he'd cluck around. And as time passed, that eagle, he grew very old. And one day, he saw something above him. This thing, it, it glided gracefully and majestically through the clouds. What's that? The eagle says. Well, that? That's an eagle, one chicken responds. He is the king of all birds, the master of the skies. But we belong to the ground because we are just chickens. Don't worry about him, you will never be that. And that eagle lived and died a chicken because that is what he thought he was. This new year, it's time to take flight. You and me both know that you don't belong where you are right now. You don't belong with some of the people you're around right now. You got no business doing what you're doing right now. You're being a chicken when you were born an eagle. So now the question is, how long is it going to take to make the decision, to make the shift and show some courage? Show some character. Let me, that word character is funny. You know, character is the ability to carry out a resolution long after the excitement of the moment has passed. I'm going to say that again because some of y'all might have missed it. Character is the ability to carry out a resolution long after the excitement of the moment has passed. Are you going to say you want to want to do something? Do it for two weeks and then quit? like you did last year, like you did the year before last? You say you wanna lose weight, get in shape, get your business off the ground, get closer to God, and then turn around and party, get lit, drink alcohol, eat like crap, and continue to live below who you were created to be, thereby committing the greatest sin known to man? No, 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 I'm not, I'm not religious. But I'm going to take you to church. Watch this. See the word sin. Watch this. See the word sin comes from the Greek word sin used in archery. It means to miss your mark. The greatest sin in life is to miss your mark. To not be who you were created to be. To be a chicken instead of an eagle. I don't know if you guys remember... Uh, growing up, the story of Icarus. You know, a lot of people remember Icarus being this guy who he had the, the wings made out of wax. His father cautioned him not to fly too high or the sun will melt your wings. And what happened? It was Icarus's arrogance that caused him to fly too high. Sun melted his wings and boom, fell to the earth dead. But that's not the full story. No, 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 you, you didn't know there was more to it? See, Icarus's father also cautioned him against flying too low. He said, don't fly too close to the sea or your weight will cause you to plummet into the water. See, we all know not to be too arrogant, well, most of us. But how many of us know not to be too humble, too meek, too timid, too shy, too safe? It is said that the greatest tragedy in life is not that people aim too high and miss. It is that people aim too low and hit. I see a lot of people on Facebook, all everywhere, Instagram, talking about the friend zone. Ha <laughs> laughing. He, he's in the friend zone, the hover hand. But I don't see too many people making jokes about the other zone, the comfort zone. Ain't no memes about that. Ain't no jokes. You know why? Because a lot of y'all are in there. 
Well, in this new year, let's step out of our comfort zone. Fortune favors the bold. And it is the cave that you fear, the cave that you fear, that will hold the treasure that you desire. Forget a New Year's resolution. Forget it. Let's make a new life resolution to be fully and authentically you. I don't know what dream you have, but I can guarantee you that there's somebody in the hospital right now praying, begging God to have the opportunity that you have right now. Don't blow it. It is time. It is time to go from mediocre to meteoric. It is time to go from being counted out to being counted on. It is time to fly like the eagle you are. Or do you want to continue to cluck with the chickens?